Welcome to Ethical Word Education. In this session, we'll be knowing a simple security alarm project. As the name tells that the security alarm, it means if a person enters to the restricted area, then we may get an alarm sound. So let's design the circuit. Let us start by clicking on this create new circuit. And also we'll know the components what and all we require as we are designing based on the Arduino board. So let us start from the Arduino kit, Arduino board. All we need is a sensor because it has to sense the person. It has to sense the distance of the person when he enters to the restricted area. So let us select the sensor. Mainly in this project, we are taking a PIR sensor because it sends the motion of the person. It is a motion sensor. All we need is buzzer because that's to make an alarm noise. Let's start the connection now. As we can see, there are three pins are there in the PIR sensor. One is a signal, other is a power and ground. Basically, these ground and power should be connected to the Arduino board of the ground and a 5 volt of supply. Let me connect this ground to the Arduino bo board ground and the power is the positive or 5 volt of the Arduino board and the signal. So this signal should be connected to any of the input or output of this Arduino board of digital input and output. Let me give this connection to the pin number two. Yes. And finally the buzzer. So what is our condition is if the person enters the restricted area, our LED has to glow as well as uh, the buzzer has to make a noise. So this buzzer and LED, we can give to the same pin number so that our code will get less time to be done. Let me give this positive terminal to the same pin number that is a 13 and this negative to the ground. So let's start coding part. So let me remove all of unwanted blocks. And we'll start from the fresh. Yes, so let's start coding. Here we have to read the pins we have to read the values of this PIR sensor. So what we can do is we have to pick out the serial monitor to check the values of this PIR sensor. After picking the serial monitor and we have to select the uh, pin. So which pin has been connected to this, which is given to this Arduino port, input or output. So this is the sensor which takes the input value that is from the input read digital pin we can take out this read digital pin and we, here we have to mainly select the pin number which has been connected to this pir to the Arduino board that is the two let me connect this then all we need is the condition for what condition it has to get turned on and what condition it has to turn off it will be in the control here we need if else statement because we are checking else also if no one comes to this area, it has to be in the off condition. Yeah. So after selecting this F statement, we need a mathematical expression. Yes. So why we need a mathematical expression is we have to check on the values of the digital pin if it is high or low, if it is equal to. Let me take this expression upon this expression have to take, take, take the same digital pin number and have to place upon this 
text and we have to select this pin number as usual too if this pin number is 2 and this is equal to here we have to select equal because here we are checking if it is high or low do this to that yes so if it is one one is nothing but high so what happens when this input is high i mean high means if some person is coming to the particular area then it will be high so when some person enters to this area this pin number turns high as well as this has to turn high as well as this has to turn i as the both are in the same pin number 13 so let us take an output this is an input this will be an output so let us take the output path here you have to select a number p number that is a 13 it has to high high means it has to make a noise it has to blink and the same pin number we can make it to low the pin number 13 digital pin it must be low so according to this condition if some person enters here this will get turned on when this turn on turn on then the buzzer may get on led may get on if no one is coming here if this input is low that is an else then the same in same thing here 13 p number of output of this person and the led will be in the low condition that's how it works so let us start simulating let me move some little back yes so let us start simulation yes you can check here the seconds so here as per the condition l segment is working here so no one is entering to this restricted area and we are not getting any sound we are not getting any led blink on so nothing is there so what i do i'll be clicking this particular area when i move across here if the person enters to some distance if it comes near if you walk around over here then you may observe this led is glowing as well as you can observe this audio button it is making its noise if nothing is there we won't get any leds we won't we won't get turn on any led and the buzzer also so when the person moves because this is in security algorithm when the person goes here and there to the particular distance you may get of this noise and to check the distance why i have used the serial monitor you can click on the serial monitor and you can observe this zero tells that the, that the thing is here no one is entering to this all this restricted place that is why it is zero when someone is entering to this all then the serial monitor this has to become an high let me check this also because it is in on only i mean this simulation has been already started yeah you can also observe the serial monitor as become high that is why i'm using your serial monitor over here if i stop moving here and there if i then you can observe there is a zero serial monitor if it is zero nothing is working and if i move around only it will work so that is how it works and as usual in the last class i have been told when you stop the simulation and also you can change this into the code continue so this is the code you can edit this code you can change the pin number or you can edit over here also so let me copy this code and i'll be play paste, pasting this code in the description box you can use this code as well as you can design whatever i have told in the in the same session you can use you can design in that way also i mean the block way or you can use this code anyway i'll be pasting this code into the description box so that is how it works